All right, let's talk World Cup. My name is Greg, and you're watching How to Play Paintball. Okay, so um, I apologize for if the lighting seems a little bit weird. My new tripod hasn't come in yet, and uh, this is just, I had to kind of prop it up, and, and yeah, we're, we're going to get through this just fine. So what I wanted to do was go through the World Cup layout. Uh, this is just going to be like any other breakdown where I'm just going through and just seeing what is it exactly that I think the layout is going to look like. Uh, or how it's going to play, different shots that m may or may not be there. So if this is your first time watching a uh, uh, first impressions, uh, none of this is 100%. Uh, this is something that it's just the first impression of what might be happening with the layout. So please take it with a grain of salt. Use it as something to help out your team as you guys are preparing for, uh, for World Cup. So let me see if I can get this. Perfect. All right, cool. So we're going to start with the back line here. So off the back center here, you can see that there are some shots that you have that are going to be some quick shots right through here. So if someone is going to delay and then break out uh, over the top right here, you should be able to get that shot in there. It's just going to be very, very quick. Now, all of the, the wings are all sloping down to the Dorito side. So if you take a half step out or a step out or so, you can shoot through this gap. I think that's gonna drop in right into that zone there. Now, if they are changing up their route, so my Dorito players, change up your route going into here, that's gonna help you with getting in and uh, having a better chance of being alive. Um, now, there, there might be other shots that are able to come in that we figure out later on, but uh, that, that possibly work better, like you can see even this one from the cake, but just just as a heads up so I, I think changing up this route will make it more difficult for them to be able to pick what's going to be the uh, the better option uh, on shooting through the snake side you're going to be kind of threading the needle through here so this is over the top past this uh this tower onto the snake side of the home and then shooting into these gaps now this one over the top of the brick is not going to be one that you're going to definitely be able to shoot the snake every single time but it's a possibility that maybe you could drop it. I'm not sure exactly where it's going to be dropping in, but maybe if they're taking a deeper route or trying to go around the snake corner, um, that's a possibility to be able to, to catch them. I think if they hug this and go straight in, it's going to be kind of difficult uh, because it is a blind shot that you're shooting up over the top. Um, so speaking of the snake side, so this cake, uh, running and gunning out over the top, you can shoot into this tower as well, and then also into the Dorito. Now, getting that shot cross, I, I think it's just going to take practice. I think that's all that it's going to be, is uh, getting that shot dialed in. And then you do have decent shots going into the snake. I, I think a good snake player is going to be able to play with you a little bit here, but because of the pressure that you can put onto both sides and just be dumping paint, I think this is actually going to be pretty decent. So if they beat you into the snake, at least you can come to uh, this first cake and shoot into there. Now remember, with all of these shots, they have the same shot back to you. So you don't want to go in thinking that, oh, I'm going to come here and definitely shoot that guy. No, technically, the snake could shoot through and shoot back at you. Uh, now shooting into here... Uh, shooting through where the two cakes are as well as the um the little w shooting past there i think if they're trying to round around here you might be able to catch them or if they're trying to jump across from here to here but you're going to have to have paint in the air for that to happen uh on the dorito side so with this tower this shot into the center i think is something that will probably be pretty good i i, I I know I want to get up into this center. <laughs> um, when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, some of these routes through here could be uh, could be good. Um, so throwing paint through into the center because of these bricks as well. I'm sorry, these wings and the towers are there. Some, some bigger things. Throwing paint through the center isn't going to be a bad thing. Uh, also shooting this cross shot into that Aztec or that, that god, whatever it is that you guys are going to be calling it. Um, could be another good uh, cross shot because they do have to run out. Uh, you might be able to beat them out a little bit, but you are having to shoot past this can here. So some of these cross shots might work, some of them might not. Uh, and then I did want to talk about this first Dorito. So um, if you stand up tall, I think you might be able to drop it into 
the uh, the other Dorito one. So if you stand up tall, you have to be careful of the drop shots coming in from other places, but it could be an option to maybe catch someone if they're trying to wrap. You can stand up real quick, shoot, and maybe drop in paint through there. Um, this doesn't seem like a, a, a good shot, but I think being able to come through to here, you're going to make the uh, Dorito side uh, kind of a living hell. So um, with uh, with this Dorito, you do have that shot on the inside. But again, remember, they have that same shot back. And then you can drop some paint into the snake. So having those inside shots, um, I don't know that I would necessarily stay on the inside here. I think this should probably be more of a transition to get further up the field. But um, again, we'll, we'll see uh, how the layout actually breaks down. Now you can see this Dorito side can get really busy. And the thing that I like with this Dorito side is that there's a lot of shots going in. There's some shots that are doubling up. You can see some of the colors of my highlighter kind of mixed together. Um, and it's something that uh, I, I think is a good thing. I think this Dorito side is going to be pretty aggressive. I think the snake will be aggressive as well. But um, getting down the field, this little Dorito, you do have a drop shot into uh, if you guys have this zone as something where if someone's trying to fill, um, you can throw some paint that way, maybe catch the person. Same thing on the inside shot. On the outside, shooting through, you do have some shots through here. I don't know that I would stay at a little Dorito because you have a lot of good shots also from this bigger Dorito. It's just going to be a little bit safer to uh, to be in. Um, uh, but these shots are here. Just make sure that you're playing super tight because of the way that Doritos have that kind of triangle. Or not kind of, they are a triangle. So that way you can uh, go ahead and uh, stay alive. Um, from the Dorito 3, uh, I know it's going to get kind of busy here. So shooting and wrapping, you do have some good shots onto the uh, the outside of some other bunkers. And then on the inside, if they do try to crawl up into uh, this W here, maybe they're trying to use it as a transition, you do have an inside shot that you can drop into. Um, I think this one is going to be better for that though. So shooting through here. I think it's going to be better. But from this Dorito 3, um, you do have an inside shot as well. From the Dorito 4, um, you have the shot here and also into the snake corner. And if this god is starting to hang back too far, you should be able to catch them there. But like I had said, I think that inside shot to kill the 50 snake would be better from, uh, from that spot. Of course, the best is going to be from their side, but... Um, getting up into here is is uh, pretty deadly as well. And then playing the wrap, you do have some good shots going into the um, the home and then also into that tower. Uh, once you get into their side, you can see it starts to get a lot hairier for them. Uh, I think getting to here and here is going to be the uh, the best for the uh, the Doritos. I think getting that that aggressive push is going to be something that is um, is good. And the at least on paper, it doesn't seem like these jumps are too big. The biggest being from this Dorito 1 to 2. Other than that, they're not super, super big. If you stay low and dive across, even with people in the middle, unless they're pounding paint through there, I think you should have a decent chance of being able to get past it. Now, we'll, we'll test that out this weekend and see if, uh, see if I'm right. But I don't know that this is going to be one of those centers that, unless they're here, that I'm going to sit here and wait for the guy to try to dive across. Um, I think it's going to be one that, if I'm not pushing through, that I'm sitting and shooting and just dumping paint so that way they, uh, they can't, can't move. But you can see all these inside and outside shots. You can wrap uh, and do a lot of, uh, of damage um, to help you to, to move up the field. Uh, going over to the snake side, and I, I, I did a couple different ones here. So um, from this god, I think this is going to be a pretty good bunker. Uh, just the fact that you can shoot into the, the brick. Downside being that if they sit real low, I think they might be able to get past it. But because this isn't all the way back, it's that little bit of a gap, you might be able to drop paint through there. And that'll allow you to uh, catch a pack as they're trying to go by. Um, uh, shooting into the, uh, the the outside of the snake corner into here. There's a lot of different gaps that you can be pounding through here. So I think that could be good. You do have some inside shots, but I don't think that those are going to be as useful. There's some other people that can do that. I think this guy shooting heads up is going to be really, really good. Um, the snake corner doesn't look like it's as strong. Now, again, this is all 
preemptive uh, or, or just my, my first opinions here. Um, so it could be that you want to get here, but from what I'm seeing right now, you have some shots and you can shoot and wrap a little bit, but it's not... I, I don't know. I feel like this god is going to be a little bit stronger um, than here because, yes, I can shoot my mirror, but if they stay really low, I think they could even crawl, and I would have no idea if I was in this snake corner. So if they stay low enough, um, I, I don't know that I would have any issue, uh, or they would cause an issue uh, because I wouldn't be able to see them. At least from here, I can at least see some gaps, um, see where it is that they might be, and it's a I don't know. Per I would prefer to shoot out of an Aztec than a cake. That's just me, so we'll, we'll see. But getting into the snake, so from this snake one, you do have some inside shots as well. I have this one a little bit further back because if you back up and shoot across, you can see here, kind of thread the needle. You can shoot into those gaps. Um, I don't know that I would go in here and just look inside you can see that you can shoot gaps but you can't really do a whole lot i'd be looking for the move so the guy can so you can wrap shoot into that wing if there is anyone there remember we talked about even those inside jumps so maybe someone's shooting down the tape hop the inside and crawl up to here or hop and crawl straight up it's a possibility um or even if you stay low if they don't have someone in that that corner or anyone that can shoot into that gap you might be able to move straight up uh we're just going to call this snake two for now uh, so this this little W and I'll get into this center structure in a second, but the inside shot is not amazing again uh, You you have a shot to that tower. I'm not sure how much that tower will actually be played um, Because you get here and you're stuck. Uh, it's not like you have somewhere that you can dive into or, or move around in um, And you can get pinched pretty easy in there. So if someone goes there and you're here You should be able to shoot them pretty easily and then into that Dorito one I mean, it's there. That's, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, shooting the wrap, you do have some outside shots on a couple different bunkers. You can see the purple here. So it's not that it's fantastic, but it could help you to move up the field or even staying low, crawling up. And uh, if you wanted to, you could dive over. Like I said, we'll talk about the center structure in a second. But this 50 snake, we're just going to call this 50 snake for now. Um, you have the inside shot into the Dorito. So if you crawl up and immediately shoot through to here, that Dorito 4, you should be able to, uh, to, to shoot that player. And then um, you can do a little bit more damage around here. If you don't have a tape, of course, you're able to wrap a lot harder. If there is a tape, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to, uh, to, to wrap and shoot these inside shots, the pink shots. Um, but even if there is a tape, you might be able to still crawl up into their snake too and uh, be able to shoot those inside shots. So it just depends on where they're at because of course this shot from the wing, they have that same shot back on you, but maybe if they don't know that you're there and they're shooting Dorito side or you catch them off guard, you can come up here and shoot that player. Same thing with the can, the, uh, um, the tower, the Dorito one. Um, the only issue is you need to make sure that you're playing tight. In any of these little Ws, they're not humongous bunkers, so they aren't going to be something that you can like live there for the, the whole match. It's, it's not impossible, um, but it's something that it could get tight pretty quick. Uh, so just make sure that you are playing tight and just taking advantage of the shots that are given to you. And I almost skipped a page. So let's go into that center structure now. So this center structure from this uh, this brick, um, I think people might run up and then dive across. I think that's going to be a route that some people do. So if you're not sure exactly where the guy's at, um, this center structure can be uh, interesting. So we'll, we'll again we'll see how it how it plays this weekend. So I could be completely wrong, but I think running up and across, you should be able to dive straight in and go into that 50 snake. Who knows? Maybe this is one of those snakes that you dive in and immediately trade out with that other guy that's there, or you're coming here to, to trap them. Um, any of that's possible. You do have some inside shots to shoot into gaps, but it's not super amazing. Uh, it's such a far shot for that. So putting that guy in and then diving across, you, you should be relatively safe. Now where this brick could be good, is coming into here and then shooting into the snake side. You can see the blue here. Um, shooting into there, you have a little bit more control. You can stand up. Doesn't seem like there's really a lot of places that can bounce into you. 
Um, downside is you got to watch out for your feet. Sometimes those bricks, when they overinflate a little bit, if it gets too hot, the corners start coming up. Um, but the good thing is that there's that beam there as well, so you have a little bit more protection. But shooting down into these bunkers could make it really difficult for that snake to uh, to stay alive. And then, of course, you can always crawl right up into this other 50 snake. I'm not sure what we're going to call that, but um, this other 50 snake, because uh, I'm not going to tell you our codes, but <laughs> um, you uh, have a shot onto the inside, into that Dorito 1. If you back up a little bit, if you're right there on the corner, you can shoot into the uh, this further can and then you do have some wrap shots now if you hop the inside and go into here uh, when you get into this brick you can uh, do a little bit more damage shoot the the wing here um, this one you're gonna have to shoot more heads up but it's possible shooting the the back of the uh, the can here uh, and you can shoot into that Dorito one to two gap so it's something that is a possibility um, of course you can always look to the snake side and be able to control it so that way they can't really move i think it might be better if you came over to here or here so you can wrap and shoot in on that person rather than uh, letting it where they can wrap shoot back at you put you in and then dive in um, so just something so if they haven't gotten past a certain point you know that that's that's an option so or you could hop over and surprise some people uh over in here so just uh just some some thoughts so let's get into further into the center here so from this can uh i think routes coming up through here this can and this can I think should be relatively safe. There's going to be some drop shots when you're going up into anywhere in the center. Make sure that you're looking for any shots that might be coming in. You might just need to dive and crawl up. I remember World Cup was this like two or three years ago with that weird big X in the middle. I could crawl from the back center all the way up and be pretty much safe. So it's not the most ideal situation, but it's something that you can absolutely do. Um, uh, or because you, you just need to stay alive. This can, I don't think, is going to be useful. I think this is somewhere that you can have as kind of like a safety valve, or sorry, not a safety valve, as a, a safety spot. So if you run and you see paint coming through here and you need to stop for a second and then dive across, perfect. But you can see it doesn't really have a whole lot that it can do. Uh, great, you can shoot that that gap. You can shoot. I mean, if they haven't gotten into here, maybe you could pause here for a second, but. My thinking is also why not get over to uh, to this can, actually, because I think I missed a shot. Um, I think you should be able to thread the needle through here and shoot into there, or even getting up into this wing, stand up a little bit, and you can shoot into that gap as well. Um, it's just a little bit further back. Not the most ideal situation, but maybe you're playing someone that's really fast, so you want to get here so that way you can get paint there. Um, that's, uh, that's a possibility. Uh, this other can, I put this here... If they're in here, <laughs> in your Dorito, that's not a good thing. You do have a shot into the 50 Snake, into the tower. I Again, I don't think that this tower is going to get played a whole lot. It'll probably be more of a transition to go bunker someone, or you're using it to cut off a side something. I, I don't know that this is going to be something that people run up to and sit there um, during the game. But uh, at least here, you can pump paint through to uh, the Dorito 2-3 to three gap and 3-4 to four gap. Um, and then you can wrap a little bit onto the wings. So remember, the wings are all slanted down this way to the Dorito side. So you might be able to drop in a shot on someone's head. And the pages are sticking together, sorry. <laughs> um, so getting into the wings here, um, there's just a lot. So I, I split it up a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see. This wing isn't completely terrible uh shooting into this gap it's a further shot definitely but just sitting and taking a knee you can drop it over the top there and just be dumping paint through if you stand up i think you can shoot over the top and drop into there and then you're threading the needle a little bit but shooting through to here um i don't know that this is going to be great to sit at just because again this is one of those that great you can shoot here and you can shoot here if they make it past this gap, maybe that's when you can dive across. Actually, I'm going to remember that because I like that, what I just said. <laughs> so coming here, you do have a good shot here. If they do somehow beat you, you should be able to dive across relatively easily, um, which would fill into uh, to here. So now you can take back over. I'm going to remember that. I'm glad that I just saw that. Um, and if anyone that we're playing is watching this, I'm never going to do that ever. Okay, that was...
was a lie. Don't don't tell anyone that. That's actually what I might be doing. So we're, I'm gonna see this. So if anyone from Energy is is watching um, at practice, I'm never gonna do that. Okay, maybe I will. Uh, so you can shoot into those gaps, into here. Uh, you do have a shot into that other wing, and then I think you can kind of thread it a little bit through there, and then of course shooting into the snake, um, and then getting up into uh, into their side. Let me get to these these towers here. Um, so this tower that I was talking about, like I said, I mean, it's it has some shots, but I don't know that it's going to be good to sit here. I think this is going to be dangerous because if they get into the snake, they can shoot you in a bunch of spots through here. Uh, they get into here. If you're looking their Dorito way, if you're looking snake way, now the Doritos can uh, kind of crawl up and shoot across and shoot you. I don't know that this is going to be great to... Uh, uh, to have someone just sit there now to go there and cut off a side so that way your Dorito side can move up Maybe but I feel like you might be able to do the a better job from uh, from the wing or from this uh, this other tower uh, from this tower You do have some shots into the snake again These are only going to be if you're uh, you have a code for they're going to move into there or something like that But it's not it's not something that um I don't know that I would be sitting on that gap. I, I don't know if it's really going to be worth it to do that. And then shooting the heads up, you can at least shoot into that other tower. And then shooting into uh, into here. So um, it's definitely, it's not terrible. Uh, I feel like it's probably going to be better suited to shoot the Dorito side. But I would probably use it more as a transition to get into their side. I'm going to do this kind of kind of backwards. So um, so these purple lines getting into their wing, you have good shots going into their uh, one to two and two to three gap. Um, of course, you can always shoot the uh, the heads up as well. If for some reason they're not past that tower and you can get to here, you're going to make it real difficult for them to, uh, to survive. Shooting inside, um, you do have some shots. Uh, the better ones are probably going to be this way just because you can kind of push against it and it doesn't really look like there's any bounce shots that can come in so you can really push in and just make it where that guy in the snake can't move the only thing is is that you're, you're giving up this Dorito side so all they have to do is get to here and they can shoot you in the back um, so just make sure that if you switch that you guys have some sort of a code that people are switching over to protect you uh, and vice versa if they want you to switch back or switch over to somewhere else you have to do that um, on the fly um, from this little w I, I you have to look at everything i don't think this is going to be great to go to <laughs> that's just my opinion i don't think going here is going to be super smart unless you're using it as a transition to get over then yeah uh even like this pin it's possible to play i don't think that it's going to be great to do though um so that's that's ultimately that now let's look at possible bounce shots now these again just like any other time that we go through it are not 100 percent I'm not going to guarantee that um, these are absolutely going to work. It's just a possibility. Um, so let's just go from, uh, uh, let's go snake side over. So uh, from the outside of the snake corner off the god into that other uh, cake, I feel like it might bounce too high. I'm not super confident about this one, but the, it, the angles look like they might be lining up. From the, uh, the cake, if you shoot into here, let's say they're trying to play the wrap or trying to sit back a little bit more. I think if you bounce it off there, it should skip into that other 50 snake. If you're shooting heads up, bounce it off this pin. I think if they're looking inside, you might have a chance of catching them there. Shooting inside here to this tower. Um, I, I Again, I don't think that the tower is great to go to. Uh, but if they do go there and you're here... Uh, maybe throw some over the top or shoot them off this pin. I think that should skip in. Uh, on the outside of the home, sorry, the snake side of the home, off that tower into this wing, I think is possible. Um, but it, I feel like they can just back off a little bit or uh, just roll off into a different gap. But you might be able to catch someone. I, I my opinion, I, I think right now the center is going to be better to shoot the. Uh, uh, Dorito way, but we'll we'll see once we actually get out to uh, to the field um, from this tower off this pin. I think it'll bounce into that uh, that other can. Now I feel like pretty much anywhere on this Dorito side shooting this pin should one of these is going to skip into this center wing. Um, so 
my opinion is if you can get up into their wing i think that this pin is going to be too close um so if they shoot it i feel like it's going to break uh it might be uh, maybe actually i take back what i said it might be just close enough that it can still skip off but if you can make it where they don't know where exactly you're at and you can uh sit in like even their spot and shoot into here if they have to send someone to come and trade with you that you know just have have a plan for if if this does become one of those centers that you trade out but um i, I feel like this pin is going to be uh, a thorn in the side for uh uh for the center at least for that wing and then from this dorito off the other dorito into that tower i think might be able to work so um tell me what you guys think if there is anything that i missed of course put it down in the comments down below remember this is all just first impression so i'm not going to say that any of this is 100 percent going to work it's just possibilities so um again tell me what you guys think in the comments down below i will see you guys in a little bit because i'll actually be in virginia pressing against energy um and uh yeah, so I'll, I'll get my playing footage up and my self-playing critique, same as usual. So if you guys are in Virginia, be sure to say hi. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.